understand we have a special interview now with uh, somebody who mm -hmm. actually goes out there and puts himself in the line of fire with some of these major storms. That's right. This is actually one of my heroes. Mm -hmm. um, I've studied Warren Fadley's career for, gosh, the past 13 years. So I don't know if he wants me to say that or not. <laughs> but Warren Fadley is joining us from our affiliate in Oklahoma City. Warren, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. A rare day off from chasing. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, you have a couple of days off because there's no storms in the plains the next couple of days. Well, I'm... You know, I think in a couple of days it's going to change towards Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's nice to have some time off. Yeah, keep your fingers crossed for you. Listen, when I start, started chasing in college, my mom thought I'd fallen on my head. <laughs> What's the deal? What makes you do this? Well, you know, as a journalist, uh, some people like to chase uh, disaster. Some people like to chase sports. Some people work with news. Um, I decided a long time ago when I, when I graduated from college that I was going to specialize in weather. And for the past 15 years, that's what I've done. That's fantastic to know. Uh, have you ever had any close calls? I've seen some of your video, <laughs> and some of them look awfully close to me. I think we even have some of the pictures that, that we can show that you've taken. What's the closest call you've had? How much trouble have you gotten in doing this? Well, I started chasing when I was about 12, and I almost drowned when I was uh, <laughs> chasing a flash flood, as a matter of fact, one of my first chases. So I started at a very young age uh, going out and chasing. But, uh, you know, probably one of the closest calls would have to be uh, baseball and softball size uh, hailstones which hit us we were driving through Kansas back in 1991 uh, just the sound of the hail hitting the chase vehicle and, and almost coming through the windshield was quite frightening and you know, something you you never really get over it's it's not always the lightning and the tornadoes uh, it can be a lot of the other types of dangers associated with storms well, that's certainly true the first chase that I went on I was in a brand new car with pea-sized hail. <laughs> Here's advice, folks. Don't do that. It messed up that brand new car. I do want to ask you another question I think is fascinating. You actually make a living doing this. Now, how did you manage to take a passion for storm chasing and turn this into a, a way of life? Well, it really happened by accident. Uh, as fate would have it, I went out one night when I was uh, in between journalism jobs and ended up taking a lightning a photograph of lightning hitting a light pole in an oil and gasoline tank farm in Tucson about 400 feet away from me. Uh, that bolt almost killed me but I did manage to get the shot on film and Life Magazine published it and billed me as a storm chaser and literally overnight the phone began to ring from from clients all over the world looking for weather photographs and a, a business was born. Fantastic. Now you've got books that come out. I think you have one book. Is that true? One book that's that's come out that has uh, your pictures in them? I've worked on several books. Uh, the most recent book was Storm Chaser in Pursuit of Untamed Skies. Uh, and I've worked on a couple of children's books, which I really enjoy doing, and I hope to be doing some more of those in the future. But uh, books, are, books are always a fun project to actually see the images go from out here chasing and see them actually in print. Now, you were actually in that tornado, the May tornado in 1999 in Oklahoma City, which is, was just absolutely devastating tornado, and the winds, we think, were up over 300 miles an hour. What was that experience like? Well, I tell you what, that was one of the most difficult chases uh, because I was shooting one tornado while I was watching on a monitor uh, the live footage of a tornado going through uh, Moore, Oklahoma, and it was quite difficult at the time trying to concentrate on what I was doing from a journalistic and an artistical sense, and at the same time watching uh, people were, were likely being killed, and that'll always stick in my mind. Sometimes you have to balance those things and, and do your work and forget about the, the bad things that are happening. It's really hard to do sometimes, too. I have to ask you this question. Now, you do all this for excitement. What do you do to relax? <laughs> I do interviews. <laughs> oh, well, there you are. Well, fantastic. We really have enjoyed talking to you. And I do believe also we have a copy of one of your calendars, if I'm not mistaken. Folks, you can pick these up. Do you put these calendars out every year, Warren? Uh, every year. Stormchaser.com. You can see the calendars and see all the books and see what we're out here doing. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Warren. Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome.